So uh, from his perspective, uh, in the international movement for human rights, uh, which we are fighting for here as well, as you know. Thank you, Jill. Um, it is really an honor to be here to stand with you in this historic struggle. I, I want to just very briefly for myself put this in historical context for myself and for my people. We, we all know that what we are fighting against today actually really started with the invasion of 1492, mm -hmm. uh, oh spearheaded by the criminal uh, Christopher Columbus. Yes. Uh, and what we have today is a continuation of mm. the consequences of that invasion when the settlers arrived here in North America in the 1600s. We know that those historical events put into place a, a tragic consequences that impacted both your people and my people. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's important for us to talk about why it is so fundamentally required for us to find a way to struggle together. Amen. We, the still colonized, the dispossessed, the marginalized, mm. we understand that we cannot solve our collective problems divided. That's right. Mm -hmm. We understand that we are involved in a historic struggle, and the only way we're going to transcend these conditions and have real sovereignty for your folks, self-determination, self-determination for my folks, is through a collective process of struggle. Mm -hmm. This is the turning point. I was so proud when I saw the members of the Black Lives Matter show up here Ooh. a few days ago. That's the kind of solidarity we have to continue to build. We have to let people understand that what we have in this struggle is not a, a, a past struggle against colonialism, mm. but an ongoing struggle against colonialism. That the settler project has to be defeated. Yep. And this campaign, this movement, is fundamentally committed to that. Mm -hmm. If we and when we assume office, we're going to put in place processes and policies to begin to reverse the settler colonial project. We guarantee that for you. Okay. So we're serious about this. This is not us showing up for a photo op, you know, or whatever. We here to, to demonstrate our commitment to this pipeline and demonstrate our commitment to the ongoing struggle for self-determination and for fundamental human rights. Now we know that this afternoon, for example, they are having a, uh, a, a argument in court for the injunction, and we say we understand there's legal a legal foundation for that injunction. You have international law that can be evoked yeah. if they so choose. We know we have this uh, so-called uh, UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. You know that the Obama administration pretending like it supported mm. after the administration <coughs> opposed it. And in that, in that document, it says that there has to be free, prior, and informed consent anytime any kind of project impacts on the lives and the culture and the people who are indigenous here in this country. But that hasn't happened. So there is a foundation for that to occur. But we know that the real issue here is political. And that is protecting and respecting the rights of indigenous people. And then that, that's going to require a struggle. And we're here to say we stand in solidarity. We're going to uh, uh, tell the story of this struggle. And we commit to you and pledge to you that this administration, when we assume power, will be committed to uh, putting in place the foundation to reverse this settler colonial project. Yes. Thank you.